Power, Happiness and Success family. This video is for anyone out there uh, who feels as though they experience a great deal of pain um, on a regular basis. Someone, and by pain I'm referring to fear, stress, feeling like you have too many obstacles in the way, feeling like, as though you have so many problems in the way, uh, feeling overwhelmed, like 74% uh, of, of the population um, uh, essentially have shared that they feel so uh, stressed that they feel overwhelmed or unable to cope. This is what recent research is now showing. Um, incredibly sad and, and uh, inappropriate and un unnatural. It's just that we, we come to think it's natural because that's what many people are accustomed to doing, right? Uh, but it's not the way it should be. Um, so what I want to talk to you about is um, the layers of pain, if you will. Uh, the layers of pain. So we've got the past, we've got the present, and we've got the future. Okay? And listen, just because you are thinking of future goals doesn't mean you're experiencing pain. Because, and there's sometimes, there are sometimes uh, useful moments to reflect upon the past, especially if it's an, an uplifting time or, or uh, an experience that's giving you a great deal of wisdom. Wisdom is, is a past experience, but without pain associated, without emotions associated to it. So you can kind of learn from the experience. That's the difference between wisdom and, uh, and a past pain, if you will. Um, but, but I'm also going to, in this video, talk to you about how people kind of let themselves down and how disease comes around. And disease happens here, not in the present moment. Uh, disease happens uh, when we are captivated by the past, held back by our own past, or when we're, you know, um, thrilled and fearful about our future. Um, and that's how disease happens because when you're worried about when you're worried about the future story and when you're contemplating dwelling upon the past, uh, you are experiencing stress. You are experiencing fear. You are uh, and and the ultimate form of fear is that really our fear of death. And to be honest with you, aren't we already dead if we're not in the present moment? If you're constantly thinking about being uh, and you've been traumatized by past events, you're already dead. You're not in the present moment. If you're constantly living in this uh, illusory future that's never, ever going to arrive, then you're dead. You're in a dream. It's, this is not happening. I'm not saying don't utilize things like visualization. That's what I do. I, I like to visualize where I'm going in my head so I can kind of move towards it simultaneously as I'm bringing it towards me. Utilizing a lot of NLP structures and strategies here. Uh, but really, um, a lot of dis-ease, disease, um, a, lo a lot of disturbance, and that's what uh, emotion means, the, the Latin form of emotion, Latin version of emotion is uh, emova. Emova. I think I'm pronouncing it properly. And it means to disturb. So when you are being emotional, and by emotional, I'm being captivated by stress and being fearful and being attached to your own ego. Because when you're thinking of the past, your ego is in full swing. You're associating with your mind and what you've gone through in the past. And you're using that, whether you know it, whether wittingly or unwittingly, you're using that to kind of justify where you are now or why you can't get better or why you should remain the way you are and indulge in the same kind of negative addictions that are, that are rotting you inside out in most instances. Sorry about that. Um, or you're kind of... Uh, Addicted to your future, addicted in, in, in something that will never arrive. And people like kind of bog themselves down and worry. And I was there. You know, I used to become so fearful about my future that, you know, it really inhibited the quality of my sleep. I would, I would be waking up in the early hours of the morning. I wouldn't be able to go back to sleep because I was constantly thinking about the future, but filled with, with anxiety and, and concern and worry about my future. Um, but that was before I started to, to take hold of my emotions, to start to create more loving habits, to experience flow, where I start to do the things that I love for a living, uh, where I started to just work on my internal much more than the external world. And, you know, ironically, my external world has, has improved exponentially as a result of me doing so. Um, so really, it's all about alleviating these types of pain. OK, because the more you live in the past or the future, the more you're running away from the, the, the simplest way to feel in control of your life, the simplest way to be happy, peaceful, joyous. And, and really what I'm referring to, what the enemy is, the, the main enemy, I don't want to write it in the middle because if I feel like I'm writing it for the present moment, uh, your time is the enemy. I write it on neither side. How about that? Your time is the enemy. You know, this is the enemy, not this. This is beautiful. I mean, like time, like watch. 
the concept of time is very much the, the enemy because whenever you're captivated and kind of addicted to uh, the time, or even your phone for that matter, you know, your average person utilizes Instagram 150 times a day. The average person who stays on Facebook for more than 10 minutes at a time, it's been studies show that they gradually become more, more, more depressed and sadder and hopeless and lonely and isolated and these sorts of things because they're always seeing people's false projections of uh, their fake uh, uh, lifestyle, if you will. And it makes them feel inadequate and insufficient and all those sort of things. Anyway, it wasn't meant to be that kind of video, but I, I, let, I let it happen. Uh, but I'm referring to time here. And whenever you're preoccupied with time, you're not in the now. When you're not in the now, that's where suffering takes place. So where there's, suff where there's time, there is suffering. And I'm not referring to things like it's important to be on time for meetings. Like I'm highly punctual. I'm all pretty much always on time. It pisses me off, to be honest with you. But I'm always on time for things. I don't know what it is. Um, maybe it's because I'm being thoughtful and I'm quite militant and I'm quite disciplined. And that's why I've got great self-esteem because I'm extremely disciplined. Anyway, that's another video. Um, but I'm not necessarily saying that being aware of time is the enemy. It's when you're being kind of captivated your time. And it's good to use the time for very brief moments, 10 seconds. That's the time, right, I am early or I'm late for something that I need to do in the physical world. That's, that's being able to function in the world. I'm not referring to that kind of time. I'm referring to time in which you're constantly thinking about your past, constantly thinking about your future, constantly being worried and, and losing your precious moments the now and giving up frivolously to things that don't even exist, even your past. Science is now showing, this is not me saying it, science, the real geniuses in the world, uh, have now learned that you know 50% of your past experiences aren't the way you envisioned them to be. So if I got you to tell me about a certain experience that happened to you 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago, like you think you're telling me the truth, but what's actually happened is your perceptions, you're like, your lack of sleep, maybe, has ruined your, your long-term memory, for example, within your hippocampus and so on and so forth. Um, all sorts of experiences have happened from that moment to now. And, and so you're not accurately being able to decipher and explain what's happening accurately. You think you are. Sometimes we bullshit ourselves as well. But generally speaking, we think we are being honest and truthful about what happened to us 10 years ago or this and that. When in fact, only 50% of our recollections are actually accurate and so on and so forth. So understanding that it's, it's absolutely nonsensical for people to think that, uh, you know, the past, we should validate thinking and dwelling upon the past and ruminating the past. It's not good. It's only going to fill you with trepidation. It's only going to remind you of who you are and how limited you are and how insufficient we are. And whenever you're thinking about the future, if you're contemplating the future, one, there's nothing wrong with wanting things and moving towards them with great focus and attention and energy. Those are beautiful things in the world. But when we dwell on it, in ways that are unsupportive, in ways that disempower us. When you're thinking about, oh, that's the life I want and I'm never going to get there. Or you start being unreasonable and unrealistic about what you're moving toward and in what certain time frame. Uh, like that's when we really start to, to, to ruin our energy, ruin the present moment. And it makes us trip up, make more mistakes, become, uh, you know, ruin our relationships with people because we become more impatient, frustrated, agitate with our lives. You know, when you're obsessed with this, the past, you become sadder, uh, more lonely, um, more likely to be depressed and so on and so forth. When you're obsessed with that, you're more likely to be anxious, uh, angry, frustrated um, and so on and so forth. So those are the key differences in the emotions that we evoke within ourselves. Uh, when we're living in the past or living in the future. Instead, be focused on the present moment. Be focused on the now, what you have in front of you. If there's a project you want to work towards, focus on it and don't allow yourself to be distracted. You know, your average person loses their focus between six to ten times every single minute. That's astonishing. Why is it? Because we've taught ourselves to think so many thoughts per minute that we're all over the place leads to mental entropy, it leads to chaos, a chaotic mind. Where there's a chaotic mind, there's no certainty, there's no clarity, there's no vision. It all goes out the window. Because when our mind's working, lots of different thoughts, it leads to hyperactivity, it, lacks, it leads to us feeling a lack of control in our lives. And we start to feel more impulsive and we need to, we, we seek a means of trying to change our situation for all kinds of negative addictions, if you will. I forgot where I was going with that, but to be honest with you, 
It's about being in the present moment, being in the now, being fully present, working what you want to work towards, being in the present moment at certain times being do and doing certain things. When you're in the gym, be fully present in the gym. You know, when you're meditating, purely focus on your breathing. Don't allow your brain to wander into the past or the future and to, to wind yourself up, to get yourself up and stop meditating, which our unconscious can do to us out of, you know, because, because we're in our discomfort, because we're not used to meditating, for example. Um, you know, you, you, you can start thinking about your past and use that to ruin your existing relationships with people. Um, you know, this is how the past and the future can really mess up our present moment and ruin us from kind of improving the quality of our lives, becoming happier, more empowered individuals. So if you like this video, you want to know more, head on over to my website at www.alexgem.com. Click where it says join a PHS course today. Enter your credit card details. You'll gain instant access to my mind-blowing revolutionary course, the power system, taking you from wherever you are in your life to where you want to be, whether it be your health, your energy levels, your success, your financial situation, your wealth, or whether it means your, your joy, your, your happiness, learning about your purpose, uh, being a more giving, sharing, uh, and, and being more abundant in your mindset. Whatever limiting beliefs that you have, we tackle it together in this tremendous course. There is no stone left unturned in this course. It's truly miraculous stuff. I'm so proud of it. It's taken me like 15 years to put this course together. And it's, it's thousands upon thousands of hours and dollars of me learning, investing in different programs, bringing everything together, becoming certified and qualified in different avenues, whether it be uh, NLP, being a personal trainer, a nutritionist, you know, you know, I've studied neuroscience for years, all the courses I've been on, all the seminars, all the mentors I've had who have taught me things where I've spent thousands of dollars learning from these mentors. Like, there you go. <laughs> it's crazy. And it's a shockingly low price because I really... I really want you to invest in me and therefore invest in you. So I believe you deserve it, but it's going to re require a small investment on your part. And it's down to you to be in the present moment, to let not let your past put you off, to not let your future thinking, yeah, but I also need money for this, that. Be in the present moment, dude. Do the right thing. Put yourself first. That's how I was able to change my uh, my financial circumstance, for example, by paying myself first, by investing by, by buying books, by going on courses, uh, personal development, working on high income skills like learning how to negotiate, learning how to market, learning how to do uh, public speaking and, and public selling, you know, learning how, everything about NLP and body language and these sort of important factors. You know, learning about advertising, marketing, these sorts of things, how to build a team, how to delegate, how to lead yourself, how to influence yourself and influence others. Jeez, the stuff I've done. Anyways, go get the course. You're going to love it. Um, that, along with the amazing bonuses, are worth $1,200 to $2,000. I'm not charging anywhere near that. Or for a 30-day money-back guarantee, you might want to get my book, The Art of Power, Happiness, and Success. You can get that at Amazon. You can also get it at my store, www.alexgemstore.com. Go hook yourself up. If you're watching this uh, video on YouTube, uh, you might want to hit the subscribe button and also click the notification bell because every single week, I release several videos like this, but also episodes, podcasts, long duration, all the O's that I don't put on any other social platform. So you're definitely going to want to subscribe, join the family officially, and I can't wait to work with you down the line. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.